Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying one of my favorite mullet patterns, the Midnight Mullet. It's an incredibly effective pattern when fish are feeding aggressively on bait. It's simple to tie and has a ton of flash, and we're going to get started right now. Okay, so in the vise I have a TMCO 811S and a one aught, and for thread I have a bright orange 210 flat waxed. So we're just going to start that, get it going on the hook, bring it back to right in front of my hook point here, and then the first thing I'm going to do is tie in some bucktail, and uh, this is going to help create the profile, the rear profile, the rear taper. So I'm just going to grab a chunk of bucktail, um, a good healthy chunk, strip out kind of the short fibers that I don't need, um, tie it right in on top of the hook. I'm going to measure it so uh, typically, so it's about a hook shank and a half in length. So you can vary that slightly depending on what you like and what you see for bait. So right here on top of the hook shank, we're just going to tie that in. Okay. Uh, so I like it slightly flared, nothing crazy. It's, again, going to help create a little bit of bulk, but not too, too much here. So next I'm going to tie in some Flashaboo. Um, and I said the reason I like this fly is it has a ton of flash and it works in those situations when fish are really aggressive All right, so we're going to tie this right in on top and I think I have about 10 fibers um, You could vary that like I said, I like this because it's very flashy and very aggressive. I love to rip this thing Okay, so right in on top next I'm going to grab some silver flashaboo Same deal about the same amount and that's going to go right in on top of my opal flashaboo here so right in on top of the other flash, about the same length, maybe a little longer. Um, so I put it on there, hold it, tie it down in the middle, and fold it back. Gather them all. You see, too, I kind of spread them just a little bit so that they cover the whole top of the hook shank. Um, gives it a good look. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is tie in my lateral line which is just going to be grizzly hackle. Uh, it kind of works as a lateral line and just contrast for this bait. Um, you could vary this up the colors you, with the colors you'd like. Um, I like to use natural grizzly. I want to measure this so I kind of get like that bulk here with the shape of the feather. So about there, and I want it to extend just short of my flash. So I'm just going to strip off the stuff I don't need just to make the tie-in point a little cleaner. Pinch that right where I want it. Loose wrap, loose wrap. Tighten down, make sure nothing moved, adjust it if I need to, and then grab the other one. So we take a measurement, same thing, I just want it to match. So pinch that, pull off the stuff I don't need. I'm going to rotate my vise. Lay that right on the side and tie it in. And that looks good. So I'm just going to cover these up a little bit, make sure my tie-in point is nice and strong. Uh, pull these up and trim them off. Uh, just going to grab a little bit of brush on super glue and reinforce this here. Uh, I just have a, a very flashy Palmer chenille here. Um, this is where you can kind of vary it up. Um, this is pretty much all flash, which for me today is going to work very well. Um, you can definitely change what you use for the chenille. Just make sure it's the correct size and what you want is chenille that's going to extend about a hook gap to a hook gap and a half, maybe two in length. Just tie that in nice and tight, advance my thread right up to behind the eye and then I'm going to wrap this very tightly close touching wraps. And you'll see I kind of fold it back as I go. It's just nice touching turns. Making sure everything lays back. You can see how flashy this fly is going to end up being. It's going to be really cool. 
you'll be able to see it from, or fish will be able to see it too from a mile away, which is cool. Okay, so when I'm approaching the uh, eye here, just get ready to tie it off. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of space so to create a head. So what I do is I, pull, I hold it like this, kind of split my fibers, pull it up so I have a relatively clean tie-off point. Um, just use my left hand here, throw two loose wraps around it, and then I should be able to just trim it without anything coming off. There it is. Fold back anything that is sticking over the eye. Create a nice little hot spot with this orange thread. And then I'm going to whip finish. Pull that tight, trim off. Next thing I'm going to do is put my eyes on this. Um, for the eyes, I have uh, fish skull living eyes, eight and a half mil in fire. Um, these are definitely my favorite eye. So I'm just going to take a little bit of super glue, um, brush it on the back of the eye. And what I want to do and what I want to make sure I do with the eyes, so when I put them on and push them on, one, I'm going to hold them on there for a little bit. And two, I'm going to make sure that they glue to the shank itself. Okay, and that's on there. I'm going to rotate this around. Do the same thing. Um, one thing you want to make sure, too, is that your eyes do line up. So I'll actually check again. I think the key with super gluing eyes on is either to use gel super glue or to only use a little bit of super glue. You don't need much. Um, and I'm going to reinforce this here with some epoxy as well. Okay, and that's on there. Rotate looks good. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is just to grab uh, a marker. and We have these, all the markers you need in every color. Uh, we're, I have just a medium gray. It's going to kind of match my uh, grizzly hackle here. So just going to color the top. Nothing crazy. Um, I like to go down just a little bit, just to create some contrast. Do the same thing. I'm going to color my fingers, but it's okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to grab red. I'm going to add in some gills. Um, I think gills could be a great trigger for fish. Just kind of dab it. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I like to uh, kind of support the material I'm coloring with my finger. Pretty good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just take some UV Cure Epoxy. And for this, I like a thick, and I like to use a brush. Um, I think the brush gives me a little more control for stuff like this. I'm just going to kind of fill in my eyes, the gap between them. I'm going to do this in two layers, too. So the first layer, I just like to do a little thinner. Just get a little on my thread as well. Um, cure this, and you need about three to five seconds. So don't rush curing. Okay, grab a little more epoxy. This is going to be my thicker layer. Get it right between the eyes. Just creating like a little, little mask here. And then a little bit in front of the eyes. Really get them on there. Between the eyes. Right there again. Okay. I think to get it on there, rotate this around just so it levels out a little bit. And then I'm going to hit it with my light again. Uh, you can take off any errant fibers. Uh, depending on the length of my uh, polymer chenille, too, I may or may not trim this. I think this is perfect for this hook. I really like the look of it. All right, guys, that's it. That's the Midnight Mullet. Thanks for watching, and make sure you hit subscribe.
hit the bell so you're notified of all of our future fly tying videos. Give this a try and you can get all the materials at treadandflyfishing.com.